Hundreds are expected at an empty prison tomorrow, including a well-known do-it-yourself celebrity. Yeah, it's going to be transformed this prison into something to serve the Haywood County community when they're all done. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from our Western News Center. And so, Rex, how is this organizing going, and who's this big name coming? Volunteers are busy. It's a big task to turn an old state prison in Waynesville into a halfway house, homeless shelter, and soup kitchen. But organizers say they're ready, and having Ty Pennington on hand for the big kickoff is a big help, too. Putting up banners at the old state prison in the Hazelwood community is the easy part. There's going to be a lot of work to put into this. Victoria Young is one of several hundred volunteers who will help turn a jail that locked inmates up into the Haywood Pathways Center. Our goal is to make for a wonderful uh, homeless shelter, a soup kitchen, halfway house. And to see these three Christian organizations coming together in one property with the full support of our community has been much more than we could have ever expected. Nick Honorcamp says the big conversion begins Thursday, but preparation is already underway doing some pre-construction, making sure that everything over there is safe and ready. This will be the entrance right here. The old prison grounds are getting ready for a new look. This is a real project. Thick blueprints inking out the changes to come. A project on the fast track ever since winning a $50,000 online ultimate give back challenge from Guaranteed Rate. Hundreds had entered. We kept coming back to, hey, that prison project in North Carolina is really cool. And Guaranteed rates, Bob Armour says, the winner had to have community input, a doable plan, and community support. On all three elements, they won. Some basics have been done. Construction equipment is at the ready. Skilled labor lined up. Volunteers excited. My part has been recruiting volunteers for kind of more the celebration and fundraising end of it. Guaranteed rate spokesman Ty Pennington will be on hand too, getting his hands dirty. I think he's my kind of person. I think. <laughs> The goal is to open the Haywood Pathway Center November 1st, and tomorrow our own Victoria Dunkel will be talking live with Ty Pennington from the project site. You'll be able to catch that interview in the 6 o'clock hour on News 13 this morning. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.